I'm the trash man. I come out, I throw trash all over the, all over the ring. And then I start eating garbage. Hello, how are you doing? I hope you are all doing well. So you can't see the mess that surrounds me right now, but it's there, it's there, it's there a lot. The thing is, as my YouTube has grown, so has my need for space. Every few months, or at least once a year, or every few months, I will go through my art supply collection, reorganize it, and I will either throw it out or put some stuff in storage. If you haven't been with me for long, you might not realize that I actually film in a walk-in closet. I mean, it's a beautiful walk-in closet. I was very, very fortunate that my parents let me use it. But at the end of the day, it is a walk-in closet. It's not really made for huge camera equipment, two tripods and multiple filming lights. And I find it really hard to get motivation in this space sometimes, especially when it gets to a point where there's just crap everywhere it used to be very very hemmed in very crowded i had like a metal like what's the word i had a metal rail that held clothes it's like in shot and it was very cramped it wasn't good i actually updated this space last year i'll link it up here in the card above or in the description too and i really really revamped the space to make it more workable more usable for myself but once again i've gotten disorganized I've got stuff everywhere and I'm someone who loves organized stuff. I love seeing things nicely organized. I'm actually not bad when I actually do it at organizing myself. My problem stems from the fact that I seem to be physically unable to remain organized and that's where the problem starts. As soon as you just start to lose that organization, it all goes to, it all goes to shit. So I actually follow a really good couple of accounts on Instagram. One is called Organize with Tracy. The other one is called Horderly. And they both have a very similar system with tips and hacks of how you can organize to help keep yourself organized, which is my biggest problem. Have clean space, clean mind, or happy, happy house, happy mind. No, what is it? Clean space, clean mind, something like that. I just figured that I could go through these hacks and tricks with you as I organize, show you how I'm organizing. I've got some special containers and special systems and things, and I can just show you some of the art supplies that I've currently got. So today we're going to organize properly based on some real actual organizers advice and see what we can do. So let's get started. So as we open the office door, you can see a bunch of crap here. That's probably, I hope that's not paint and I can just get that off. We open the door. It doesn't even, it doesn't even open all the way because I have this unit behind which contains some art related stuff. So the door hits it. This is the desk I use. I'll show you properly when there's not crap everywhere all over it. But basically when I did my updated studio video where I was like making everything look nice and rearranging it and doing it all up, I actually had a smaller desk than this that was just too small. I needed something bigger. So this is the, the result of my last video. I have some pictures on the wall here. This is also the result of my last video. You might be wondering why it's on the floor. When I'm sat here, I have a really hard time accessing the stuff behind me so often when I'm in the middle of filming which can be quite stressful at times I'm having to like reach in here constantly open up the doors grab stuff then sometimes it just falls out and that's basically what happened in my last video I had a bunch of my art stuff fall out and I was just like I'll leave it till later later is now a week later and I've just not I've just not picked it up to solve my space issue I actually used to have two tripods I had a tripod right here I had a tripod right here by the door leaning over and then it would lean over the desk over the top of this camera so it wasn't in the way but i found obviously it was impossible to get out of the room and i was trying to figure out ways to save space floor space so i could move around easier which is why i went with these kind of light clamps here this one just clamps onto the desk i don't really know why there's a shirt there but yeah this basically clamps onto the edge of the desk so it's not on the floor whatsoever this one is also i know the carpet stained i'm gonna have my parents carpet replaced when i'm not using this space anymore i bought from this metal frame from amazon and basically my camera attaches to it the camera films through it but yeah basically that's what i use i'm gonna link everything that i can think of that i purchased online in the description down below if you're interested to get something like this yourself but this is this is very helpful and behind this curtain and i keep my little wizard of oz wizard man just gonna try and squeeze past this bloody chair basically this is where i keep all of my clothes but yeah i just keep that nicely hidden so i don't actually have to look at it 
Then we have my Starry Night wall here. As you can see, that was a lot of fun. This was actually a big cause of my space getting as messy as it did. And down here, we can just see the aftermath of the disaster of my last video that everything just fell out and I was just frustrated and I just left it. In here, this was pretty nicely organized when I first did it in my studio video, but as you can see, it's just, it looks bad. A bunch of paint flakes came out of this box here when I pulled it out. But yeah, like I can't find my paint like this. It's just too much. I've just got crap everywhere. It's just not working for me. And then we've got this side, which is slightly nicer. Can't open it because of the bloody chair though, but still pretty messy. And I'm actually gonna utilize most of this space in today's video to get my stuff all nicely organized. This one I have all of my Mickey ears in. This drawer's got some private stuff. And then this one has just got a bunch of random pens, pictures. But yeah, as you can see, it's a bit messy. My whole desktop here has got paint and crap on it. There's also a lot of space in here that I am not utilizing. I have my Cricut that I've still not used yet, but I have my Cricut in there, a big container of paint there. And then we have a couple of crappy things down here, but that's literally all it's holding. And I can definitely utilize this space way better than I currently am. So I'm pretty excited to see how this turns out now. What I'm gonna do now is go and get the acrylic containers that I purchased from Amazon. They were pretty expensive, but I'm gonna link all of them down below in case you were interested. So let's go. Okay, I've just brought all this stuff up from the garage. And these are the things that I've purchased. I'll walk you through them really quick. I got these acrylic bins. I forget how many I bought because I didn't have a clue how many I'd need. But basically, professional organizational tip number one is you need acrylic containers that are clear that allow you to see things inside them. You also want a clear container that is like straight up and down at the sides like this versus something like this, which is, you know, these are great for so many things. But if you're limited for space like I am, you have a small space, you're trying to organize a small space. Using something like this is not beneficial because unlike these ones, which are straight up and down and can butt up against each other like this with no wasted space in between. If you have more than one of these, they're both slanted outwards like this and you're going to have all of that wasted space in here that you could be using and you might be tempted to stick things into, which is not what you want to do. That's how you get disorganized very, very quickly. So these kind of stack. They're not perfectly stacking, but they stack pretty decently just in case I want to do that. So I have five of these containers. These are by Interior Eye Design. They're six by ten by five. I also got four of these bigger ones. These are sized eight by 10 by five. These are just like a nicer sized one that can hold more crap. Next up, I got these. These were like, I think $7 for two. These are by Copco, non-skid shelf organizer. But basically what I like to do down here is I actually have like a shelf so that I can, do you want to stay open? In here, I actually have like a shelf that I use, which was actually just like a black container I turned upside down. So it elevated the stuff behind so I could see it easier, which is another professional organizational tip that you should definitely be using apparently. I say apparently because I really don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just going by what I've learnt from these amazingly professional people. But basically, whenever you have something, if they're all the same height, you're gonna be like flicking through all of them, trying to figure out where stuff is. And that's how you create mess, which is why I'm having the shelf. So I don't have to kind of like push things out of the way to see what's there. So this thing is gonna hopefully be very, very handy. I have to unfortunately put it together, but let's hope it doesn't take too long. There's also a lot of this stuff. So I'm just gonna make more mess. Okay, so this is how it looks. Um, I do actually have more that I can put in there if I want to, but I'm gonna actually leave it like this because this is made, I believe, for makeup palettes. But I figured that I could use this for notepads, notebooks, sketchbooks, paper, things like that, because you should always store things, if you can, upright because it makes it easier to see. I also got this little labeling set by Mr. Pen. They're chalk labels. And basically I'm gonna stick these onto these things, label them, even though I can see what's inside them, it just makes it look a little bit nicer um, and just kind of go from there. There's I think a hundred labels in here, something like that. So that's everything I've bought so far for this video. That's all we need. It was expensive. I think I spent about $150 just on these containers, but honestly, for peace of mind, if it allows me to be organized and keep it organized, it's really gonna make my life so much easier. And you might even be able to get it a lot cheaper at places like the container store. I just can't go there right now. They have sales all the time, but basically this is, this is the cheapest I could find on Amazon for what it was. So the first thing I'm gonna do is clean up my desk. Once I've done that, I want to actually move my desk completely out of the way so I can just pull out everything, put it on the floor, and that's how I'm gonna begin organizing, because apparently, because you're supposed to actually make more mess to avoid future mess. So we make more mess before it gets better, essentially. My uh, my actual feelings on the mess right now. Dried up Clorox wipe, another dried up Clorox wipe. I hate that I've had to use Clorox wipes this year because 
Wipes in general are so bad for the environment. If you can avoid using sanitizing wipes of any kind, please do. Use sprays instead in like a reusable cloth. Wow, I didn't dry my brushes out, it's a miracle. This is what all of my camera equipment looks like. It's covered in paint. I think for these pens, I'm just gonna like stick them on the floor, I guess. I've literally almost filled this bag up and I haven't even done anything on the floor yet. Okay, as you can see, I've now moved my desk over there. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put out all of these paints and figure out which ones I want to keep and which ones I wanna throw away because I'm pretty sure I have a lot of dried up ones and ones I just am not gonna use. This was the container for all of my Apple Barrel and Folk Art paint and I really like this, so I don't really plan on throwing any of it away. I swear I had like four of these, but I've only got two, so I need to check on that. But we're gonna remove the label. So the key here is to try and get everything standing upright. So for example, this is absolutely useless. This is just not right. I couldn't fit it all in, so it ended up just getting messy. And a lot of these are empty, and I definitely need to replace them now. But yeah, I'm going to throw away my fabric paints. Wait, will I be doing another squishy video? Because otherwise I'm not going to be using this paint. We'll keep it. I'm going to put it in the keep pile for now. We're going to have our paint tube pile oh gosh there's so much there this is cute but i'm not going to use it so we'll put it over there oh no there's tons in here that i forgot i had so everything as you can see is on the floor this is literally just from this one cupboard which i obviously need to clean out but literally everything on the floor is just from that one cupboard and this just takes up so much space i will empty this cupboard as well but i haven't done it yet because it's kind of separate and i don't really want to mix it up right now so we'll just leave that as it is so i'm going to take my little shelves here yes look at that nice and shelfy so i'm going to put my acrylic inks on this back shelf and any kind of ink that i have i'm just going to stick on that back shelf because i literally just never use them she says a hair already Eh. Inks, I've put the same brands together. Now I'm gonna put the same shapes and sizes like these ones together. And we'll just stick them in there like that. I've also got some masking fluid, which is not ink, but it's the same kind of shape and it's sort of relevant to this. So we'll just put it with it. I'm gonna put my golden metallics here as well because they're kind of good for top coats and stuff. I'm gonna put all of the bigger stuff at the back as well, just so it's easier to see. And you wanna keep things towards the front. You never want things pushed back like this. So I'm just gonna pull them both forward as much as I can. Because if we do have anything ugly we wanna hide, we can hide it behind this. You also wanna get rid of things like this, boxes, as nice as they are to keep things together, throw them out because they use up valuable real estate. I think that's all I have for my fabric paint, so it won't fit. So that's that's a no-go, and I've bugged up my organising. Organise with Tracy in particular said that sometimes you need to rearrange things until they fit. Sometimes the first way you do it won't work, so I might just have to kind of keep going back. Gets messy before it gets better. Just trying to remind myself for that. I'm gonna use this size for my smaller paints like this, just to stick them in there. Okay, they seem to fit. So what I'm gonna do now is actually turn them all upside down so I can actually see the colors that are in there. So we have them all nicely color coordinated. Oh, that doesn't look good. So these are pretty ugly looking. Could I fit? No, they don't fit. Bugger. Always store upwards if you can, because you have more space that way. I really don't like this. I'm just gonna, I don't like that. I could do two of those. See, that works quite nicely. In fact, I could even go so far as to stack doubles of these like that. The Stuart Semples could go in the smaller one. I'm gonna just have a Stuart Semple box just because all of his stuff is very unique. So we have our black 
Okay, so these, I have so many, so many Liquitex heavy body acrylics, like an insane amount of them. Oh, I'm getting backache. <laughs> Okay, so I went from that giant pile of Liquitex Heavy Body Paints to literally this. This is all I have now. I'm gonna place them probably just on top of these ones. Cool, look at that, it looks so neat and tidy. Okay, here's my Stuart Sample pigments. We'll put them upside down. Okay, so I think I filled my Stuart sample container pretty well for now. Right, I'm gonna use another small container for all of my acrylic gouaches. I don't have a lot of these, but they are quite pretty and they look nice stacked upside down. So we'll just do that. I do have some oil paints left over as well, but I'm not sure what to do with them. I think I'm gonna put my oil paints in there as well because I really don't have a lot of oil paints and I don't have a lot of acrylic wash either. So this is how it looks so far. I'm really, really happy with it. It's not perfect, obviously, and I'm not a complete professional. I'm just learning from the professionals at this point, but I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I can't, I can't really complain about it. Okay, so I've just labelled up all of these containers. I've got my Culture Hustle paints, which is the Stuart Sample stuff, the Liquitex Heavy Body acrylic gouache, and the Folcar Apple Barrel acrylic paint. I don't really have enough pens of the same type to warrant giving them their own individual containers, if that makes sense. So I might just have to just pour them all into a container like this. I have a lot of Posca markers too. I think I'm gonna have my own little container for the Posca markers just because I do use them a lot more than I would any other marker. Just gives me an excuse to buy more really, doesn't it? It's nice because before I could only really fit the paint in this side, whereas I had to put the pens and stuff that side. So if I can actually have all of the art supplies on one side and then like the paper and canvases this side, it would be so much more helpful. I am gonna separate the black pens though, the black fine liners, purely because I use those very frequently. And I'm probably gonna separate them and put them into this drawer here like I had before, just because it's just easier to get a hold of them that way. Right, there are all of my markers. I'm just gonna keep those there and I'm gonna put them on top of my Poscas like that. Get rid of that. Okay, so I am still working on it. It is the second day. A lot of this is just mess that I can just literally throw away. This is kind of getting to the point now where I'm like, everything is finicky and I don't know what to do with it. Oh look, I found a mask, how very 2020. So we have these wooden containers. These are lovely, but I'm probably gonna just like put them over in the corner because I don't think I'm gonna use them right now. I have this wooden container here, which I've put all of the Artist Loft paint in. I put a bunch of fabric paint and some old paint. There's not really any real nice way to organize these. So I'm just gonna put those in that cupboard over there. So remember when I talked about this thing, this is really, really great. This is what I wanna use for my sketchbooks, like my art snack sketchbook. I can literally just plop it in like that. If I go through my paper, can I just sit down? So hopefully we can do this just place it upright like that. And for fun, let's just make more mess and take everything else out. Oh, I'm a little Michael's pumpkin. Do I need this? Oh, it is a nice box. It's got Jazz's face on it. See, my issue is I have so many canvases as well. I don't really know what to do with them. These don't have lids. That's a bit scary. We'll put them there. This is gonna be my cupboard for my paper and stuff like that. Where's my bloody phone? Oh, it's there in my pocket. So I have, this is pen paper. And kind of just organize the paper based on what it is. That's another marker paper. 
See, this thing is awesome. I bought this from Michael's. It's holding so much in here, but it's not very practical for seeing what's inside. I literally have to pull everything out to see. What kind of paper is that? I'm probably gonna stick all of the small ones in one place as well, just to make it easier. We have some Japanese paper here. This is really cool. I'll just stick that with the rest of the small paper, I suppose. More canvases. I have so many canvases. nice that looks all arranged upright easy to see um, I'm probably gonna put it in that way as well maybe maybe that way no probably that way would be the best way to put it <laughs> oh frick okay that didn't work so this is what it looks like in there I'm not sure if I should have it maybe this way or maybe that way probably that way just because I can see the paper easier and just pull it out that would probably be the best feasible way but I haven't actually got I mean who am I kidding I've got loads of crap here but I don't feel like I've got enough maybe to fill in this whole space so I should be okay so far I'm really happy with how this looks I think it's a great way to arrange my paper I'm probably gonna put my canvases in here too so I'll probably just do like biggest to smallest So here you go, we've got all our canvases there, we have our paper here. I'm also gonna make a point to have all of the labels facing the same direction if they have them, so like this. I wanna make sure all the labels are the same. They look a little messy because they're half painted on some of them, but overall it looks kind of it looks kind of like a little, little staircase up into nothing. I'm probably gonna put things like this, the fabrics, the, what's it called, pencil case, there we go. I'm probably gonna put that in something like this put them all together like pencil cases and stuff right so now i have my watercolor pan and my gouache in there it doesn't look that great but it's fine because honestly i would just pull them all out anyway there's not too many colors so i'm okay with it being that way but what i've done is i've taken this container put my metallic gouache in there and i'm just gonna literally put it like that so it's fairly neat i'm gonna access it so little honestly that it doesn't matter that it's not perfect so what i'm gonna do i'm keeping the shelf this side i'm gonna put all of the sealers and stuff on this side with the canvas because i'll have the gesso the sealer that kind of thing and yes it is a form of art supply but i feel like i need to keep the real proper art supplies on this side instead in this drawer i'm just gonna keep my pencils and erasers and pencil sharpeners so that'll just be in there quite quite a thin drawer so i think that'll be fine for that So there's my little pencil container. I put all like pencils together and my mechanical pencils. These are a mess, so I'm definitely gonna hide those. Oh, it doesn't fit. I'm getting there. It's looking clearer. It's not perfect, but it's getting there. Nice. That looks so much better. In here, in our first cupboard, you can see my lovely, nice organizational job. I mean, I'm not a professional. I'm just going by the tips that I found, but basically I didn't have a lot of choice. I had to stack these. So if you can avoid stacking, go for it. If not, then this will be your best option. If you have a little amount of room, but you have a nice lot of height, this has worked perfectly for me. And obviously I kept the stuff that I use the most on top. So down here we have my shelf with my golden metallic paints. I have some inks back there. I have two more containers with ballpoint pens and also some gouache and watercolour. I also ended up putting that container of micron pens and stuff back there because I had the ballpoint pens and it just kind of fitted well there. So that's how that one looks. And this side here, I can decide which side is my favourite. I really, really like how neat both sides are. But this was with my makeup palette container that I purchased on Amazon. Works perfectly, I'm glad that it did. This one, I have the shelf with my Liquitex gesso, the clear coats, chalk paint, Mod Podge, all of that stuff. Just again on one of these plastic shelf things. And down the bottom here, from largest to smallest, I have all of my unused and partially used canvases. And back there, you can kind of see a bit of wood. That's all of my wood related like panels and stuff that I paint, but I didn't have anywhere else to put them. So that's that. I'm also really happy because I had a bunch of stuff under here. There's still some crap I need to pull out, but I had a bunch of canvases under there that I've now been able to put in there. So I'm really happy happy with how much I've really actually been able to fit just by organizing professionally or at least as close to professionally as I can do as an amateur professional organizer that didn't make sense 
Okay, so this is the situation we're in right now. We're pretty close to actually getting this floor really clean. So I'm just gonna kind of just clean this up off camera because there's not much point and not much for you to see. But yeah, next time you see this floor, it's gonna be clean. Ta-da, it's clean. Well, it needs vacuuming, but it's clean. The floor is clean. Ignore the cords and stuff because I needed to plug my camera in. But look. It's clean, the desk is clean, not that you can see it. My desk here is made of solid marble. The reason I got marble is because it's easy for me to scrape off. The surface had already been sealed, so it was all good there. Basically, yeah, it's got some gold metal legs. I believe it was made in India or something like that, but I basically just got it from Wayfair. I love this desk, it's a nice big one, very, very pretty. I mean, it's very heavy, but I can pull it back out into the center of the room if I want to film. Now we're gonna turn you around to this side. Yep, good start. We got all this. This just needs to go away into this cupboard right here. Nothing too fancy. Basically, I'm just gonna put this stuff away in here. Honestly, I need more of those plastic containers, but I don't have them. So I'm just gonna use what I have right now. I have this really nice metal rack. This was actually half in hand by Magnolia. And I just really, really like this. It's handy to hold paper and stuff. For scrapbooking, it holds a lot of my my printer ink for my printer. I'm just gonna put that all up right so I can see it and access it. There we go. Unfortunately, the paper doesn't fit too well in there, but how it is will work for now. I still can't believe I have not used my Cricut. I literally can't believe I haven't used it yet. Hey, maybe I'll make a, oh. Maybe I'll make a video one day about me learning to use the Cricut. <laughs> also, was I the only one that thought it was called a cry cut, not a Cricut? My friend calls it a Cricut and I'm like, Oh, this is the only container that I have you left. It's just got some random miscellaneous stuff in it. So I'm just gonna really keep that there to the side. I'll probably put this cord in there too. I definitely need some matching containers for this because this is, this is not what a professional would do. They'd have more nice stuff in here. But again, I don't have any and I'll probably end up moving this unit somewhere else anyway at some point. So I'm not gonna really worry too much about it for now. This is gonna be my junk drawer, but it's not a drawer, it's a cupboard. It's almost like playing Tetris, but with art supplies. Just got a bunch, of, does anyone ever have like random crap like this left over that you don't really know what to do with? Cause I never really know what to do with all this leftover stuff. You know what might make sense? If I put the cricket on top like that and then place the stuff alongside it, Okay, it's not ideal. Oh, there's, cr there's more crap over here. Stick this down the side. Doesn't fit. Everything's being kind of a butthead and not fitting right now. Maybe I'll have to stick that back there. There. Cool, there we go. I mean, it looks very messy to be honest, but it looks way better than it did. And I've been able to kind of Tetris everything into the cupboard. So let me show you around, show you what I've organized fully. And yeah, I'm really excited, I'm really happy. I think that it looks pretty decent. Okay, so I'm not sure if you could tell, but I really love baby blue. It's like next to mint for me for my favorite color. Inside here, this isn't the prettiest in the world. This is kind of what I wanted to avoid, but it still is using the system enough with what I've got. I will get some more of these plastic containers for this cupboard as long as I make sure that this is actually what I want to keep in here. I'm still not 100% on that if I'm even going to keep this unit here. But basically, I have these wooden boxes. These were from Michaels. I have my, my last plastic one. This is just can contains some miscellaneous stuff. I have this awesome Sculpey kit. This was the Ace of Clay Sculpey collaboration that he kindly sent me. This was the Jazza calligraphy set. I have this bag filled with some pencil cases and things like that. Here I have some Canon ink and some scrap paper. I have some camera related stuff here and my paint back there. And this whole unit here filled with just paint that I rarely use, but I don't want to throw out or give away just yet. If anyone's wondering, by the way, where this unit's from, it's actually from Wayfair. I have two of them. I have one in my room too, but it's just beautiful. Sort of ruining it. Let's move that. We have our top drawer here, which now just contains only pencils. Before it had pencils, it had markers and fine liners and stuff. Now it just has pencils. I'm not gonna show you the other two drawers because I actually didn't organize them yet and they have some private stuff in there. So I haven't touched those yet. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so incredibly much for watching. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. I'll leave a link down below to the two Instagram accounts that 
I follow and religiously watch because their stuff is incredible. And obviously I am not a professional, but I did my best to make this look as professional as I would imagine they would. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much once again for watching this video. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.